Hello and welcome to my guide for the Some Like It Cold Quest. If you want to see the requirements, pause the video now. Just a quick recommendation, it says not to bring any items, but bring a house teleport and a way of getting to this location marked on the map right now, which is north east of Relica. The best method of getting here would be fairy ring code DKS shown here, and you could also just teleport to the Relica house portal and run northeast, or you could use a liar if you have one and run northeast as well. To begin the quest, talk to Chuck in Ardoin Zoo, accept his quest and read the ransom letter that he gives you, then talk to him again and he'll offer to teleport you. After you've been teleported, run southwest to the seals on the shore, try to wake them up and they'll ask you to do a dance to entertain them, so do the dance emote once you've said this and talk to the seals again, but he'll say he needs something with a bit more cowbell. So run back northeast a bit and board the boat. Talk to the two penguins called Ping and Pong and they'll give you materials to make two costumes with. At this point, teleport to your player-owned house and use your clockmaker's bench to make the costumes, then return to Ping and Pong by boarding the boat again, which is northeast of Relica. Give Ping and Pong the costumes, spam through some more dialogue and board the boat again, and this time Ping and Pong should be in the boat with you. Attempt to wake up the seals again and you'll get a cutscene, after which you'll be asked if you're ready to go to the seal camp. You're not allowed to take any items beyond this point, that includes equipped items, so if you have anything on you, you can use the seal as a bank deposit to bank your items, then talk to the seal again when you're ready to go. Once you arrive at the Prisoner of Walrus camp, head north and talk to Teddy, the bear in the clown suit, who's really hard to miss. He'll tell you that Larry from the previous quests thinks he's a penguin and wants an egg. Talk to Noodle in the southwest corner of the camp and he'll tell you that the walrus has an egg in his hut. The walrus's hut is just to the east of where Noodle is stood, so try to enter his hut, but you won't be able to because you fear being caught. So you'll have to create lots of noise to draw the walrus out of his hut. To begin creating noise, take the bat in the box next to the door of the walrus's hut. Once you take the bat, there will be three groups formed around the area, all of which need to be making noise constantly until the walrus comes out of his hut. To get the groups to make noise, get Ping and Pong to play some music, encourage Teddy to start juggling, and encourage the seals closest to the hut to make noise as well. You'll see progress bars appear above each group which shows how much noise they're making. These bars need to be completely blue in order for the groups to make the most noise. So run around each group encouraging them to make noise until the walrus starts to take notice and come out of his hut. If you do this right you should get a cutscene, after which you'll be able to go into the walrus's tent unnoticed and take an egg from the table, which you can then give to Larry. When Larry has the egg, talk to Teddy again, who will ask you to ask all the penguins around the camp if they have a plan to escape the camp. You'll have to ask every penguin in the camp, so talk to every penguin you can find, and then talk to Teddy once you've done so. Teddy will tell you that you need blueprints to aid your escape, and Plaza the penguin, who is east of Teddy, should have them. But in order to earn the blueprints, you'll first need to build a board game from scratch, only using items from around the camp. Go inside the hut where Plaza is sat and search the shelf to the northeast of the room to receive a bottle of olive, a cube of sugar, a popsicle tray and a carving hammer. Go to the southwest of the camp to the hut where Noodle is stood and search the shelves to the northwest side of the room to find a corkscrew and a bottle of lye. Use the lye on the olive oil in your inventory to make unmoulded soap, then use the unmoulded soap with the popsicle tray. Go to the fishing hole on the northeast side of the camp and fish all the items from it. Use the squid you receive on the popsicle tray of the moulded soap in it to dye the soap. Use a carving hammer with the soap to receive game pieces. Right click on Teddy and choose a tear off fabric option, then head back to the east side near Plaza the Penguin and go behind his hut to the north. Take wood from the scrap pile, then use the fabric with the wooden board you receive to create the game board. Take the finished game pieces and game board back to Plaza and he'll give you blueprints, which you should then take to Teddy. When you give the blueprints to Teddy, he'll say that the engine needs repairing and that you'll need to find parts in order to fix it. The seal next to Plaza the Penguin to the east has access to the parts that you need, but in order to gain access to them, you'll need to beat the seal at a game of Battlefish. Battlefish works just like regular battleships, so just play the game until you win. After you beat the seal, he'll unlock the door to the parts that you need. Go to the hut just to the south of the seal and search the box full of circus props which will serve as the parts to fix the engine. Head back to Teddy and give the supplies to him and you'll be faced with this interface. To repair the engine use the colourful circle and then the hand on the pressure gauge. Use the purple tissue on the pipe in the middle. 
use the hula hoop on the valve wheel, use the balloon on the spare wire, then use the insulated wire on the wire box, and finally use the bowling pin with the lever slot. When you finish the repairs you'll get a cutscene. After this cutscene you'll be on a submarine and Teddy will offer to give instructions on what to do next. I'd strongly recommend reading these instructions just in case, but basically you'll have to play another game of battleships, only this time you'll have to make repairs to the submarine at the same time. You'll see the health of each part of the submarine displayed in the top left corner, and the overall health of the submarine displayed at the top of this list will eventually deplete no matter how many repairs you make, so you'll need to defeat the enemy ships as quickly as possible. To repair each part of the submarine you can assign any of the four NPCs with a bar above their head to go and repair a specific area. The bars above their head indicate how much energy they have to spend on repairing, so the more that the bar is blue, the more repairs they'll be able to carry out. Use the periscope in the room on the left hand side to continue playing battleships at any time, this can be a little tricky, so if you do die, which may be fairly likely, you'll be taken to the Grim Reaper, after which you can simply click on the portal in the room, and then click on the seals on the shore to try again. When you eventually win, you'll come across a cutscene. Simply spam through the dialogue to complete the quest. Bear in mind that there's an early bird bonus for this quest, so complete the quest by the 21st of August in order to receive this bonus. And that's it for this guide. If it helped you at all, give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.